High Res Fix, a feature within the Automatica 1111 Web UI application, allows you to enhance smaller images to a higher resolution without losing the composition of an image. Here's how you can do this within Comfy UI using the Upscale Latent and Upscale Model nodes. Okay, so to get started, I went ahead and set up this workflow here within Comfy UI. So I have my checkpoint along with my prompts, the size of the image, and the sampler along with the VAE decoder. So this will all go ahead and produce an image. If we go ahead and run it through here, everything should work fine, no problem. All right, so now we have a nice living room. So now if we wanna go ahead and enhance this image and pass it through the latent space, which is a way that we can basically upscale the image, I'm gonna go ahead and just move both of these nodes a little bit lower, and then I'm gonna go ahead and put in the latent upscale node here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and connect this to the samples connector and put in 1024 by 1024. Okay, so instead of going from 512, we're gonna go ahead and double this. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put in a K sampler. So I'm gonna double click here, go ahead and put K sampler, and then connect this latent uh, output to the latent image input here. Now you can always copy and paste this as well too, but just for this example, I'm just going to go ahead and set up a new node and then reconnect everything uh, together here. So we're doing the model to the original checkpoint model, uh, the positive prompt, negative prompt, and then we had that latent image. So this effectively just went ahead and created an image to image model. So it's going to take in this latent image and then we're going to go ahead and pass it through the sampler and then we're going to go ahead and decode it. So I'm going to go ahead and put BAE decode. And then we'll go ahead and do that. And then connect this to the original VAE of the model if it has one baked in. Otherwise, we'd go ahead and load a separate VAE and then connect it to this endpoint here. And then we're going to go ahead and put in the save image. And then we'll go ahead and output that here. And then run this prompt. So before this ends, I just want to touch on this denoise. So this is basically doing image to image. It's going to rely on the same prompt, but it's going to go ahead and completely make a whole new image here, which we can see. Um, and it doesn't really carry over any of the characteristics. So what you're going to want to go ahead and do is set this denoise to 0.5. So it will pass this image or whichever image is generated. We're using a random seed value here and then it will take on many of those characteristics when going through this image to image process while it's upscaling within the latent space. Basically, we're gonna use this as a reference and then we're gonna make something a little bit larger. So now, if we take a look at both of these images, we'll see that they're similar in a lot of ways. However, there are some added details to this. Now you can go ahead and adjust this to noise if you wanna uh, add less noise, I will carry over more of this original image over to this upscaled image here. So that's upscaling within the latent space. Okay, so now switching gears to upscaling an image with a model. So if you have your own upscaler you like to use and you wanna keep everything in this original image that we generated but just make it larger, you'll go ahead and do these steps. So I'm gonna put in here upscale model loader and then I'm gonna put in image uh, upscale with model. So that's telling us that we're going to use a model to go ahead and upscale this image. And we're going to use the same VAE decode. So this will take an image as an input. So therefore it's not taking a latent space image that we saw earlier. So like the image to image process. And then we're going to go ahead and pass it through here. And then we're going to put in the image uh, scale and go ahead and pass that to here and say how large we wanna make this image. So if you don't do this, it's gonna make a very large image. So this allows you to control it uh, to whatever dimensions you'd want. So since we're taking a square image in, I would recommend uh, having a square image as the output. So I'm gonna go ahead and do save image here and do image. So we're gonna go ahead and run it through this process. And so here's our image. And so I expect to see something exactly like this, but larger, which is what we can see here. And so, perfect. If I was to go ahead and take a look at the outputs, 
we can see that this larger image is 1.4 megs and the earlier one was only 304 kilobytes. So it used that upscaler perfectly. So that's it with using the high-res fix feature, if you will, within Comfy UI, or using a latent upscaler or a separate upscaler model in order to make your images a little bit larger and a little bit more crisp. If you found this video helpful, uh, please consider hitting that thumbs up and subscribing. And of course, if you have any questions, please drop a line in the comment section below and I'll try my best to help you out. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.